Yo, 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 welcome back to Crazy Bull TV. This is LFC Vibe. Welcome to the barber shop. We're just going to sit here and have a conversation and discuss what's going on with the Liverpool team and everything that has to do with Liverpool. At this point, the grieving process is over. So we move. Whatever happened on Sunday happened. Now, we have to focus on what's coming up next. And what's coming up next is more important to what just passed. Whatever happened, happened. But before we start, please share, subscribe, like, notification bell. Well, you know, make sure that you click that notification bell so you know when we are on. Uh, it's very, very important. So please, the algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. Big up to MK2. Fifth stage, man. It took me just two days, bro. It took me two stay. It just took me two days. So, uh, yeah, I know you. You were on your fifth stage, like what? On the same day. <laughs> so, but good to see you that you are in the barber shop, man. If you want to trim, you want a haircut or whatever, please come through. We got you. All right. Um. That's what we do out here. What you saying? To be quicker. <laughs> oh man, he said when the Diallo go went in, bro. I lost. I need to, you know, as a pure Liverpool fan, I consider myself. I had to go through all the stages, man. I can't go through the denial stages, the worst part, because you think you're good, but you're not. But you know it's what it is, man. You know we we we, we were arrogant. We um, we did not take them seriously, and they punished us. And moving forward, this could be. You no, know, I know during the stream, a few people were like, "This could be um, something that we can use to uh, what learn as a lesson. It's never an L." right it's always a lesson so we have to use it as a lesson and move forward we cannot do this again not at any point this season we can play like the way we play big up yourself hollywood rock <laughs> i see your man is back doing big things in wwe the brighton game can't come quicker now bro at this point I'm just going to relax and have this team, uh, how should I say? Let them have a break, right? Let them have a break. Sometimes even them going on international break and uh, meeting new, you know, hanging out with the, the international teammate helps. Uh, we will talk about some of the injuries, why I think this break was very, very essential. We needed this one because some of our guys, man, they burned out. Big up yourself, Rasta Crabs in the building, bro. Baba shop is open. You know what the deal is. We will get you, you know, give you a trim. Oh, whatever you need, sir. Uh, what you say, Keto? You could see the flaws during the game, especially in extra time. No, you're right. Um, I, I don't want. I'm. I try. Okay, maybe I. Let me say this right. I can see the mental fatigue in the team during that game because this reminded me on how we played against Arsenal when we went to um, Emery. It was like it wasn't there. It, and the game was easy. There's nothing that Arsenal did. There's nothing that Man you did. It was just us. The problem was us. That's why it was so frustrating. Trap Joe, what going? Grieving? Come on. Let club grieve. Well, we enjoy his million. Rob, 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 Rob. Club is club. But the club, LFC, is bigger than club, you know? No man is bigger than the club, so remember that. But what I'm saying is, um, you know, it's good to let things go, and then you move on, right? Rev9, big up yourself, man. I see you in the building. Good to see you. Good to see you. Big up, big up, big up, man. Thank you for coming through the barbershop. Uh, yeah, so... Like I said, the game itself, you know, we will finish it off. Let's talk about it. And, you know, since we had time to freshen our mind on what happened, 
But mentality, we were not there. We were not there. It could be we burn out. It could be we play too many games. All those reasons does not mean it's not valid excuses. But the thing is, we don't want to have excuses. We want to just focus on what we're doing. We can't scream quad and have excuses for quad. Uh, yeah, I mean, this Liverpool bad habit, man, I think it's a curse, man, at this point, bro. At this point, I think it's a curse because uh, we beat the best or we play well against the best teams. But then when it comes to teams that we have to beat and we capitulate. And let's be honest, Man U is not a top team. Just because they are in fifth or sixth or seventh or whatever they are does not mean they are in the, they are in the top echelon of clubs that we we played. You saw how we played City. Same thing last year. We beat City and then we lose the next game. We beat Man U 7-0 and then we lose another game. It, that, I, I, it's a mentality that I believe that Liverpool has to exercise themselves out of. How they're going to do it, honestly, I don't know. It's been going on in the modern era since EPL started where Liverpool can be constant. They will beat all the biggest teams in the world, but then when it comes to teams that they should beat, it's still not uh, working. Uh, let's go through here, see what the people are talking about inside the barbershop. Just like M. Koto said earlier, the flaws, you could see it through the game. That's true. Big up yourself, Rasta. Uh, lucky this loss, that's not true. True. I mean, for the EPL side, that one will hurt us more than this one. So I guess if you were to lose one of them, you could choose. I just hate losing. Rasta crab, I'm, you don't worry. Don't worry. You got, you got um, 13. You got 12 more days. You got 12 more days. Take your time. It's a process. It's a process. Take your time. Take your time. Players are human, club is human, they try their best. True, but if you want to be a champion, you can have the trying your best thing. Have you seen them? I'm going to ask you, have you watched the movie Rock? Or is it The Rock? Um, the great, uh, what's his name? James Bond, John Connery, Nicolas Cage. And at one point when they were in Alcatraz and then he said, are you ready to go? And Nicholas Cage like, I will, I will do my best. And he said, your best? He said, losers complain about their, their best while the winners takes the prom queen home. And I'll leave it at that. You see what I mean? And his girlfriend was the prom queen. So if you want to win, you can't just do your best. It's a nice thing to say, but winners do not say they will just do their best. They go for it. If you go for it and you give everything and it doesn't happen, it hurts. But at least you know you try. And then the following next time, you break that ceiling and then you go again. That's how you do it. Uh, yeah, our game management, is it was zero at that time. It was zero. I don't know. We. It was like when we woke up, we scored a goal. When we woke up, we scored a goal, but then we go back and fall asleep. So, <laughs> Rev Knight, like I told uh, Rasta Crab, you got 12 more days. It's a process. Take your time, all right? But just don't be toxic. Don't be negative and, you know what I mean? Just let it out slowly. Go for a walk. You know, do anything and everything but football. Football is not all, all N and B all. Why are you saying it again? I'm still shaking my head from Sunday. So angry. I've seen us throw. Bro, I don't know, man. If you're a Liverpool fan, you've seen this over and over and over and over. So um, first time being on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm not the only one who does this, right? That's true. Sometimes you can't hear negativity when your team have lost. You need that time because if you hear somebody say the wrong thing, man, somebody could say something and then you could blow up. So that's a good, that's a good, a good method, a good process to, to, to get football out of your mind and then go back in again. Uh, yeah, we talked about that. How, when are we going to drop these bad habits? We can win and then we capitulate. That is very frustrating. I've been through that glissiness to know that they have been seasoned way worse, so just enjoy. I mean, I understand 
you know, that you are a true fan. You you go back, you go way back, way back there. So you've seen the, the highs and the lows. So I understand where you're coming from. I'm also from back, you know, the old school, you know, the Daglish years, you know, when uh, Chabala was the goalkeeper, Crazy Les was the goalkeeper, you know what I mean? So I, I understand. And I have seen Liverpool at, the, at its apex. So, and then I've seen Liverpool at its worst. Huh? So I understand. But this is the thing. While you are in the moment, you can't talk about the past. You can't even talk about the future. You got to focus right now. And when you focus right now, just like you said, you do your best, even though it just sounds like I'm uh, being a hypocrite here or contradicting myself. But when you are right now, focus right now and make sure that right now you don't feel like you left anything on the table. Finish your dinner. Finish your dinner so we can give you some dessert bars. Nah, those are excuses, man. Come on. These guys get paid million their job. No, I understand. But the part where I would disagree with you, Rasta Crab, is they get paid millions. You are a human being, man. You are a human being. You get paid millions. Your job is to be professional and do your job. Yes, I agree with you. Usually when we start saying they get paid to do certain things, does not mean they are still not human. Even a car... Ferrari or F1 cars are billions are poured into it, but it's still a machine. And yes, the human being is behind the machine. So what we want is for them to be consistent, right? Consistent, if you play bad, win. Sometimes when you play bad and you play so bad and you lose, it hurts. So I got you. I got what you're saying. The only part I would disagree is when people say, oh, you get paid millions. So you get paid, you know, especially when people abuse players, they say, oh, well, they get paid millions. They get paid millions doesn't mean you should abuse them. That does not make sense to me. Trap Joe said it was only a game and it's good to lose sometimes to Rias. That, that I agree. Even though I hate losing, that this is the contradicting part. I hate losing. I don't want to lose. But sometimes football is a humbler. They have to bring you the back to earth, reassess what's going on so that you don't make the same mistake again. If you make the same mistake again, that bro, it's, it's your fault. See what I mean? So that one, yeah, that one, you got me with that statement. The reassess the whole, the mistake so that we don't do it again. But if we play Brighton and we act like this, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm tired of the excuse of crap. Man, that. See, it depends on what kind of fan you are. Certain fans do not want to hear what they feel like is an excuse. You know, certain fans tend to add, have context of what, what may be something happened. Sometimes the context could sound like an excuse. I'll leave it at that. What are you saying again? I find that so quick to move on. Can we get some accountability if we fall short this season? No excuses. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Um, one thing that I don't like is when you hold somebody accountable and people are like, well, he won us a lot of games. He did this for us. Great. When everything is said on that, we will build a statue. But while we are in the moment, you have to be held accountable. And they go and just like what Trap Joe said, when situations like this happen, the goal is for you not to do it again. If you do it again, then we have a problem. But we can't go overboard on the other side and be like, okay, it happened. Let's move on. No, no, no. Why did it happen? Let's figure it out so we don't happen again. And they are humans. They're going to make mistakes. The goal is to make new mistakes, not the same mistakes. Uh, don't want to hear no excuses. We lost United and we supposed to be mentality most. Hey, we got to take that... <laughs> We got to take the L. It was a VIP bottling service that day. We are a mentality monsters. And guess what? Sometimes it happens. Like I said, the goal is for it not to happen. And if it happens, we have to hold people accountable. But we cannot say just because we are mentality monsters, Muhammad Ali is the greatest and still <laughs> he got put on his behind a couple of times. He got his jaw broken. So, like I said, I'm in the 
mentality of when you make that mistake, yes, I have the right to be upset. I'm a fan through and through, just like M MK Joe was saying. I'm a fan through and through. I have the right to be upset. The goal is for me not to go overboard and start abusing anybody who is involved, whether you're a fan player, a coach, or whatever, right? I have to hold you accountable. Now, my mentality is please don't make the same mistake again. That's what my thing. I don't mind the mistake because we are humans and we make mistakes, but don't make it a main because then you make it over and over, it becomes a habit. So I don't want to have that kind of habit. Uh, LFC is not well drilled in the final third. It's a new team. We still have to figure it. That's the part. We know. Remember, we are not supposed to be here in the first place. So if we are here, that's what I'm saying. No, it's a new team. We have that's the context that we have to put in. It sounds contradicting, but you still have to put, be realistic and say, hey, this is a brand new team. And look how far this brand new team. Imagine if this team mesh. The last team that we had that won everything. It took time. And yes, there are still some mistakes that we never got off. Pick up yourself, man. Thank you so much, the Madrid fan. <laughs> Wagwan, 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 Wagwan. How you doing, sir? Come through, come through. Yes, that movie, that movie, that movie, Alcatraz. Yeah, great movie. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's a very good movie for the process of grieving or mourning, right? Go watch it. Uh, I say after the game. <laughs> Uh, what Rev Nigel is said is, is it wrong for me to want us to take the safe approach when you see one in science question? Do we always have? No, 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 no. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Um, you know, have you heard the phrase, there's many ways to skin a cat? And even in football, there's many ways to win a game. There's the Mourinho way, there's the club way, there's the Pep way. Um, you know, as Venga way, the say Alex Ferguson way, at the end of the day is what's your flavor, right? But if you want to be a champion, a champion has to be consistent, right? A ch consistency, that's it. Consistency does not mean you're going to win every game. It's just that you're going to do more of the good stuff so that you win. That's all. And we have to hash out some of the bad habits in Liverpool. There are some bad habits, right? Uh, LFC women, hey, they're good. I'm sorry to hear that Sophie hurt her knee, I think today or yesterday. So she may be out for the for the for this season. And we 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 applaud more a quick uh recovery for her. Yeah, these knee injuries are, are piling up, man. It's not even just on the woman's side, the guy side too. We, Something needs to be said about that. It's sort of steady or something. Uh, yes. <laughs> the way Ganacho was cooking in that match, we now have the media saying that Perez wants him. I want you to know. <laughs> See, these are trigger words. Cooking. Ganacho and the word cooking. At what point did he cook anybody? Did he have moments where you'd be like, oh, but that's football. Even, even baby. When he played for Manchester United, he had some moments. But I won't call it cooking. It's the same thing with Menu, Kobe Menu. The reason why he's been called to the English national, uh, to the Three Lions, is because they realized that Ghana is lurking. Bro, Kobe Menu was subbed out because he was being exposed. Yes, when he has the ball, his movement, it looks nice because he's a great player and he's going to be great. I hope he becomes great. But what's the difference between Kobe Menu and uh, KDB? They both got subbed out at, almost at the same time. Ganacho didn't do nothing, man. Come on. They kept switching Ganacho and uh, what's his name? Uh, Rashford the whole time. And you're right. Perez is going no near. Where is he going to play? You got Mbappe coming and then you got uh, Vinny there. And then you already got Rod Rod was it Rodrigo and... All those men. Where is he going to play? Is he going to be playing for the B team? Come on now. He can start for Manchester United, but he's not going to start for any top, the top five teams. Let's be honest. Even Aston Villa, he will struggle. Those lousy years by Gerard and Reese Smash United. Yep. Those are the good, the good old days, man. Especially 
the the year that uh, Suarez, uh Torres gave them the five fingers. <laughs> uh we made some of those frauds looks like through they've not this is the thing. They feel like they played so well. They didn't play well. We were crap. That's what happened. We were crap. They did was literally if some Allardyce was coaching that team, would you have seen a difference? That's a question. Those lousy years by Gerard, yeah, we talked about that. Uh, but I can't lie, man, lose. he's going to be quality. And I hope they find a manager who could bring the best out of him because this kid, he's not ready yet. And I'm worried, you know, he already has a big seri uh, serious knee injury. So I'm hoping, you know, and I'm looking at it because he's a countryman, but this kid is going to be, he's going to be special. He's going to be special. And I hope they take their time with him and don't, they've been playing him way too much because the way I'm seeing it, I'm getting that um, soccer vibe because they can't find anybody else and they don't want to spend the money. They're going to burn him out. I hope not. Uh, he, he's the only one I was talking about. Yeah. Ooh. What you saying, Rasta? If we lost to City, I could be good as gold by United on a September. I don't want to lose, but I understand what you're saying. Don't let the fraud fans on X or Twitter get you hurt. I know it hurts, but they are the one who's going to make you, you know, worse. They knew they were going to lose. They just, they are surprised. I, I, the Man U fans are so surprised the same way we are surprised as losing. That's how it is. They did never expect to win. Come on. 10 minutes, we scored what? Three minutes, we scored two goals. And when we, bro, come on, watch the game again. And then you realize, like, that's what it really hurts the most, knowing that we could have beat them with one eye closed. Uh, right now, we will sue for him in a few years. <laughs> get him, get him. The series of win, you know, win sometimes calls up the flaws and imperfection, and it just came together. So that's very true. But see, this is the thing, though. I, uh, people always say, well, I know we were not playing well because we were winning. No, 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 no. The whole idea of having a great team is Alex Ferguson years, he went years winning where he was not playing well. But the thing is, they were so consistent, they, they make it happen. That's what consistency is. You are so consistent that you make bad things happen. I mean, you make good things happen just because it's drilling you. You are, regardless, it's like, I'm going to have to make it happen. I have no choice. Your choice is if I'm going to lose, it has to be that this team is so good. You know, um, that's why uh, Tra uh, Trap Joe was saying sometimes you got to reassess because you're winning so much, you can't realize what is wrong with you. Until you lose, then you realize what's wrong with you and then you fix it. So, the greatest, the greatest champions, the greatest teams, or even individual sports, they could go over and over, and you you know there's a mistake, but you can't get them because they're so good. So sometimes the loss helps you reassess. You may still have a trouble on no, we 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 win in the trouble. I mean, it's the quad, we give the quad away. That's why it hurts the most. We give it away. If they have beaten us because they were good, that's fine. But we gave it away. That's what makes it hurt. But the trouble is on, man. It's still on. Uh, yeah, I think part of the fan base was was gassing up themselves with the quad dream. No, why not? I don't go into a season without saying we, we will not win everything affordable until we lose. Right? We are a great team. We know we are a great team. Are we a finished article yet? No. But yes, I could understand the overgassing could could blind some people. The overgassing can blind some people. Uh, but, yep, same thing. Same thing happened. I remember. It's okay to dream if you take the disappointment. Some people can't. That's the problem. Remember the when man, you rolled into Anfield and everybody was jumping in. We're gonna win. We're gonna win 5-0, 10-0, blah, 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 blah. And then we couldn't even score, we couldn't even shoot the goal on goal. That that's 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 our problem. 
We need the three points. Don't worry about how many goals you're going to score. Get, just get the three points, and then we we'll talk about it later. Uh, what do you say? I can see I stopped playing football because of my knee. Yeah. Knee problems, man. And it could be anything, and that's the thing. Knee problems is, and especially with these modern times, yes, they could help the team. I mean, these modern times, you have signs that could help rehabilitate you faster. But with these athletes, they are stronger, faster. But yet, there's still a lot of injuries, man. There's still a lot of injuries. Guys, please don't forget, share, subscribe, like, get us out there. Algorithm, algorithm, man. Get us out there. You guys already know I got 21 kids that I got to feed. So I need your algorithms. I need your shares. I need your likes. I need your subscription so that, you know, eventually I could get to the super chat level so you know you guys could help me feed my 21 kids that's why i have a publisher <laughs> man who is a baller i did take him at lfc oh yeah definitely definitely i would take him even though he's a man new player i would definitely take him uh somebody's asking revenant is man who better than gravenberg hmm that's a good question what I would say is there are two different type of midfielders. I can say Kobe has a, a higher ceiling than Gravenberg, but Gravenberg is a baller. We just haven't seen it yet. We just haven't seen it yet. Right now, Kobe is the flavor of the month, so you could say he's a better player. But I still think that Gra there's a better player in Gravenberg right now. But in, in the long stretch, Kobe could have a higher ceiling. Uh, give my name that okay, so normally. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> I heard about that rumor that if they, uh, Sarah Radcliffe can tempt Southgate to man you, Eric Ten Hag will be, will be fired. Hmm. That's not a good rumor, but hey, go ahead. But one thing that people need to give credit to Radcliffe, though, when he was asked, can you sign Mbappe? He said, I'll create my own Mbappe. That tells you that the old ways of how Man U used to do business is done, where they go for superstars, superstars, pay them ridiculous amount of money, and end up move them on. Remember, uh, they have, uh, who do they have? They have Swanstein. Not Swanstein. Yeah, they have Swanstein. They had uh, Falcao. They had Di Maria. All these super players paid them a lot of money and they all left. So I see that Radcliffe had the right mentality, but the right mentality takes time. Let's see how long these man new fans are going to afford him that kind of time. You know? Uh, in my opinion, yes, we've seen enough for Gravenberg. No, you haven't seen enough for Gravenberg. That's the problem where Liverpool fans, sometimes we are overreactionary. That's the same thing I was upset when people, first thing people came out and do was blame Gakpo. You haven't seen enough of him. He hasn't been started enough games. How long did it take Endo to officially assist him? The same thing with everything. Setting plays, it takes time. Remember the context. Remember the context. This guy was in Liverpool, wanted him before he went to Bayern, and then they put him in the basement. He's working his way back up, and he's fighting against players who are very, very good. Kobe Man, who comes to Liverpool, who is he going to play? Even if he's, let's say we agree with you, and you said he's better than Gravenberg. Okay? Out of all of our midfielders, okay, he's ahead of Gravenberg. Who else is he going to be ahead of? Remember, I'm saying Kobe is a baller now. Who else is he going to be ahead of? Is he going to be better than Jones? No. If Thiago is fit, is he better than him? Hell no. Definitely not better than McAllister, or Bosolai, or Endo. Who else? I'll wait. It'll take time. It'll take time for him to get away from all those bad behaviors. And he needs also, he needs a player that we have to afford him to play. He never had a preseason with Liverpool, okay? We have to let him play through the rust. The same thing we did with almost half of the team. They have to, they, we have to see the bad behaviors. You're going to literally see the bad behaviors wash away from him. We saw that with Henderson. 
We saw that with Lucas Lever. Um, recently, Simicat, the goalkeeper, Kelleher, Trent. These things need somebody to keep playing and playing and playing, and we have to sit down and wait so that it gets out of their system. Otherwise, there's he's never going to be able to play. Then you'll be like, oh, sell him. Let's get somebody else. It doesn't work like that because when you get that somebody else and it doesn't work out, you'll be saying the same thing. Sell him. Let's get another person. So give the man some time. Yes, he hasn't been to where we want him to be. But trust me, this guy is a baller. <laughs> You don't go to Bayern Munich just because they like you. I'm just saying it. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. With the new manager, you never know. I'm telling you. One of these same thing people were talking about Jota. Let's sell him. Let's sell him. Let's sell him. And then now people are begging for Jota to come back. He has so much potential, man. He's young. He's literally two years younger, uh, older than Kobe Man. And remember, my new is crap. That's why Kobe is looking so good in that team. So I'm just saying, don't, 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 don't just look at the flavor of the month and think that, oh, he's so, nah, never do that. Never, never, never do that. <laughs> great movie. That's one of the greatest movies of all time. You know what I'm saying? Barbershop, man. Barbershop is where everybody talk, you know, that's where it's therapy session. Everybody just, you know, express themselves. Barbershop is, is therapeutical. It's, it's, you don't need a therapy when you're in a barbershop. That's all. You need everything. You need VVD. I would say VVD. You need a CD. You need a, uh, whatever you need. Somebody got it in the barbershop. But that movie, man, when they walked into the barbershop, that was the funniest thing. Kunta! AD is one of the greatest, man. Uh, Okay, so we're talking about what we've seen so far. Yeah, what we've seen so far, none of us are happy. So you, I would say you are right. But don't be so quick. Remember, don't be so quick to, to throw people under the bus because I'm telling you, you're going to be sitting there and be like, man, I take it back. Exactly. We get LFC 30 years. <laughs> You did not stop supporting LFC. You gave them 30 years. Now look at you talking about quad. When have you ever seen a Liverpool fan base talking about quad? That's what I said. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so far, he hasn't played enough. Personally, I don't think he has played enough, and he hasn't played in his preferred position enough. That's the problem with Gakpo. Gravenberg does very well in the midfield three on the left side. You've seen that he started playing very well on the left side. Even Klopp had to move McAllister on the right just to accommodate uh, Gravenberg to play on the left side. I'm just saying, give him time. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be there. What they say to me, fights for the spot with Sobosla and Jones. Thiago is a broken <laughs> You cold, man. Rev Knight, you a cold man. Um, I think he comes to Liverpool. Klopp will make him a better team, uh, a better player. But he will have to fight. Do you guys remember how long Jones has been fighting to get where he at right now? I'm just saying. Conor Bradley is saucy. I'm liking the, that kid, man. If you are here making Trent, people say that we don't need Trent, you know you a baller. Tell Perez to keep his eyes off him. I mean, it's not for sale. He's not for sale. Um... I watch United games and he's the only good player. Yep, Bruno is useless. I'm sorry, Bruno is useless. Bruno is a dead ball player. When the ball is on a dead ball or a free kick or set piece or something, yeah, he could give a pass. That one I'm never going to take it away from. If you give Bruno a time, he can pick a nice pass. Other than that, nothing else. Big up yourself, Mr. Bader Red. Come through the barber shop, man. Whatever you need, we got you. You need a trim, you need a braids. We got you, man. Come sit down and chop it up with us. Uh, Manny United have ruined our former soldiers in <laughs> Casemiro. Well, thank you so much, Madrid friend, for saying that. They didn't believe me. Thank you for saying that. Uh, what was you saying, Rev Knight? Uh, all you play get shipped. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's true. Opinions are allowed to change. <laughs> hey. You're right. I apologize. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. 
Crazy. Messi has criticized the Dutch players because they are tall and love to play high balls. <laughs> That's funny for Messi to say that because Tiki Taka was created by a Dutch man. His name is, I'll let you guys find, that's a quiz. And Liverpool, Tiki Taka, we started it. It's called Pass a Move in the 80s. Dutch players tend, usually tend to keep the ball. They can control the ball. I don't, know, I don't know what Messi's talking about here. Are you sure he didn't say the English players? Hmm? Allardyce? What are you saying? Bruno is the worst captain I've ever seen. No charisma, no respect. I don't like his, his antics. I don't like his antics. That one, yeah, people say, oh, he does that to win. He cheats. Yeah, he used the dark arts. Nah, sometimes it's too much, bro. Too much. Just play the game. Just play the game. I hope Gakpo Diaz and Grab turns into world beaters. That means we win it all for now. Not convinced. Hey, bro, you're right. I want them together because guess what? If they become world's beaters, guess who win? Liverpool. So, yes, you're right on that. And they're not there yet. They're not playing as where we want them to play. You are totally 100%. 100%. No Dutch player fault Messi is the same size as me from. Oh, Madrid, come on. Messi is gone. You still don't like Messi anymore? That rivalry has been dead now. He's still holding the grudge. Uh, I mean, Messi is a short player, so usually, yeah, Dutch players are pretty big players. They we look at VVD, they uh, if you go back in the days, Ratcat was quite a big size player, uh, yeah. So, I understand, I understand. I mean, uh, what's the idea? The, the manager, Coleman. He was a solid, solid, solid defense, man. At one point, close to being one of the best defenders in the world. I mean, he wasn't the best defender in the world because Paolo Maldini was playing. But I'm just saying, he was one of them people. <laughs> man, tortured my childhood. <laughs> I hold a grudge. <laughs> That's my man. That That's why you call the real fan right now. He said, I hold a grudge to death. I don't care. This guy has the man goes into to go to bed during the messy years and you swear like, oh my god. No, man, shoot. I hold grudges to remind you the same thing. I've said to people, if I'm in the desert dying of thirst, and the man you bust his pot, hey, leave me, leave me be, let me die. Let me die. That's how it is, man. That's how you do it. True fan, man. We don't play. Hey guys, don't forget. Share, subscribe, like. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's get those likes up, please. Let's get those likes up. Yeah, man. So other than that, you know, we move on. That was therapy. We move on to the next. Um, I'm glad that uh, Diaz and Nunes, you know, we heard that they were injured after the game. And even uh, Gakpo. Gakpo rolled his ankle, if you guys remember, towards the end of the game, the Think was the defender was it uh, Dalot or somebody almost you know got him uh, but from what we hear is it's not serious so we know Nunes is resting thing so he's not going to Uruguay smart from Uruguay because this international break this international games I think all of them are basically international friendlies none of them are. Um, Continental tournament or federation uh, competition, such as World Cup qualifier or, or the um, CONCACAF or Euros or AFCON or something like that. It's all friendly. So as much as the Colombian team is going to play Spain, I think, on Friday, and they are in London. So our guys did not have to travel to South America, which is really, really, really good. That time zone is sometimes hurting. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm very excited that you know Nunes is not going anywhere. He's just gonna be chilling. Uh, Diaz, I think they say he's just training in the gym right now. They're gonna monitor his situation, make sure that he's fully fit before they put on it. That's a smart. That's smart medical staff right here because it's not important. Give somebody else a chance to show themselves. You know what Diaz does. You know what Nunes brings to the team. So it's good that they they actually looking at them too. 
Um, <clears throat> Gakpo, I think he's okay. He's he rolled up with the Les Orange uh, camp, so I think he's okay. And they, him too, they're gonna monitor his ankle to make sure that he's not fully hurt and he's fully fit before they use him. Mo Salah, somebody saw the picture. One thirty in the morning, the man was in a gym. I'm telling you, they take it serious. Some of these guys, if you were a champion and you lose a game like that, it hurts you. So it's not just us who are hurt. The guy was here at 1.30 in the morning putting in that work. So the good thing is he is, I think Egypt did not call him because they say he's not fully fit. They just want to make sure he's good. So that's also another good medical team assessing the situation and say, hey, do we really need him? Let's give somebody else a chance, you know? It's just a friendly game. So that is smart. I understand if it was a World Cup qualifier, then you bring him in. Um, so most of our guys are gone, but they have been well monitored. And I think you know, Allison stayed home. Trent stayed home. Jones, from what we hear, will be back. Good news. Jota, they say he's running right now. So that's good news. And, but, you know, I remember, I don't know if you guys remember the late night vibe. I said he will be back before end of the season. And I said his injury was, is a hyperextension. There was nothing tears. It's just sore and it's painful. It's really, really painful. So he'll be back. Same thing with Konate. He rolled out with the uh, Le Bleu. So he's also good. Um, I also said that he was glad that he walked away. He felt something and he was smart. He listened to his body and said, no, I'm not, I'm not going to push it on, which is some people say, oh, the fact that he walked and he didn't, nah. These athletes now are listening to their body, which is a very, very smart way to, to, to do. What you say, Rev Knight? Uruguay and Hungary is sensible. Yep, very. Oh, I think uh, Sobosa like too, they, they're not going to force him. They qualify for Euro. You rather use him, Euro is coming up in two months. <coughs> Why are you going to force him? You already know what the man brings. Try somebody else. If Alonso comes in, will you take Brahim Diaz? He will cook in Alonso's system. If we get Mbappe, his game time will be cut short. I haven't seen much of Brahim Diaz, but I've been hearing some noise. I've been hearing some good things about him. Um... If he comes, he comes out. I Me, mean, well, my manager warned him and he wants to play, come through. And I need to watch more about him. We need to have more conversation about him. Thank you for bringing him up. I've heard some few things. I'm not going to be sitting here and lie and say, oh, yeah, he's balling. No, no, no. You guys are stuck. Madrid, you got a lot of young players. You have a lot of young players, long, young, long talent. Uh, do you think we win the game with Konate? The thing, if I don't think the game was based on the individual players. Kwanzaa played well. We can't just say he did it. Maybe we do win. I'm, I would I will go with that premise. But I think it was a collective of mental fatigue. So, yes, people will say, well, they played too many games. MK2 will be like, well, when I said that, you came after me. But I don't want to use it as an excuse because when we had those all those injuries, Klopp said there's no excuse. And then in his post match where he talked, <laughs> I supposedly called somebody fat. He said we did not just finish our dinner. We play well, but we didn't finish our dinner. So Konate being there is a boost. Certain things will probably won't happen. I think. Joey will probably have a better game if Konate was there. So it's a 50-50. It's a 50-50. Uh, they are not club building a team or for <laughs> Leave my manager alone, man. Uh, Brahim Diaz is a tricky player. I love the way he dribbled. Yeah, I've seen some highlights. Like I said, I've seen a few things. And those type of players, we, I, I, those are the players I'm missing. Kuna, uh, I don't want to say Konate. No, definitely not Konate. The Coutinho type of players, those type of skill, number, old school number 10, I think Liverpool is missing out. And yes, what's his name would have been the player, but he's never fit. And that is my man, 
Thiago. We missing those type of players. I would love to see him at Liverpool. Uh, yep, Brahim, but he needs to play. That's the thing. As good as you are, if you are not playing consistently, it's it hurts you. It hurts you. What are you saying? I really like Brahim, but he needs to play consistently. Uh, his aggressive way of hunting the jewels, passive, he will bullet some of those attackers. Kwanzaa was good with the ball, but he's not experienced. Yeah, I mean, Kwanzaa, as a young as he is, he's been playing a lot of games, and he's learning as he goes. He played on Thursday. Maybe Konate was fit. He would have started, and yeah. I agree. I agree with you, but I still want to say Kwanzaa was okay. It was just team team focus was not there. Focus was what the problem was. Osceola, Wirtz, and Ibrahim, could you imagine the drip? Oh, man. Talking about Mosiela, you know, at the beginning of the week, there was rumors that Liverpool are one of the teams that are looking at him and possibly acquire him by the next manager. And, of course, we all know Edwards is here. So, okay, let me go back. At this stage of the season, I'm not listening to any transfer rumors or whatever. However, Edwards is here. So if rumors are swirling around, I might, I'll, I'll give it a year. But I won't say it's going to happen. But Marcella at Liverpool, I don't care who the manager is, even if club stays, that's a player that Liverpool needs. Worth, that's a player that Liverpool needs. And people are, the way people are talking about Brahim Diaz right now, maybe he's one of those type of players Liverpool need. So, you know, the rebuild is coming. The rebuild is coming, people. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Um, but, yeah. Mosiela is somebody that they say he's looking at Liverpool. Liverpool is a team that he wants to play. And Liverpool is going to be in the Champions League next season. So a lot of these superstars would definitely, no matter who the manager is, they will want to come to Liverpool. Uh, Kwanzaa is amazing despite his lack of experience. Yes, and he's going to grow. You know, center back, your peak is when you are 27. So he has a lot of time, man. He has a lot of time. We are looking to sell near four players, so I can see Brian Diaz, Mendy, Lunin, Rodrigo. Really? Hmm, that's interesting. See, Rodrigo. I think the reason why he's not, he doesn't have pace, and from where Madrid is going, you need Vini type of pace too. He's tricky, but I think he he doesn't want it. This is the part where I'm like, Rodrigo, you have everything, but you don't want it. If Rodrigo comes out balling, I'm telling you, he's going to save Madrid a lot of money. The thing is, his mentality is too laxy-daisy. He's too chill for me. He has way much skills to be so chill for me. Um, Crab, do I agree, but you can't buy experience, and that's true. Kwanzaa is great. He needs more confidence. No, he's I mean, the man told Matip. My condolences. So you know he wants to play, and he's been playing very well. He plays like a kid, so like a player who's been playing for a long time. But still, this game, man, it's a humbler. So you got to keep playing. Got to keep playing. Virgil, as good as he is, he has had a few issues where you'd be like, wait a minute, you know. So yeah, what's your opinion on Rodrigo as well? I told you he is a player that I won't mind having at Liverpool. The only reason why I'm a little bit hesitant is his. His mentality. He, if he, if he comes out like he becomes a dog, <laughs> he is a very, very good player. But I think he's too chill. He's too comfortable where he's at. Maybe that's the word I need to use. He's way too comfortable being in Madrid and coming off the bench. Nah, man. He needs to be knocking down the door. And say, I want to start. I felt he could have told Gomez to take his pace. Yeah, I mean, trust me, if you go back and watch the game, there's so many ifs and what's and how we should have played, but it's what it is, man. It's what it is. Rodrigo, I love him, but now he's the right time to go. See, that's the thing. That mentality, he came in, he just came to the party and 
You know, people want to kick him out. He doesn't have to go home, but he got to get out of there. That's basically what Madrid fans are saying. I was just making a remark that he needs a lot of time. and he No, he needs time. And trust me, next year, you're not going to see the best of Kwanzaa next year or even the next two years. By the next three, though, if he keeps this trajectory, people will forget VVD real quick. I'm just saying. And I said it. Uh, I get for sure. He will get time for sure in hell of a player. Exactly what I'm saying. Um, so, like I said, we talked about the injury. So, our guys are okay. You know, it's a good thing for them to go outside and, you know, refresh their mind. All we want them to come back is fit. We don't want any injuries. Because when we come back, we got some serious football. It's going to be almost every three days we have a match. Maybe during the FA Cup weekend, that's the only time. But still, the FA Cup weekend, we have to make up the game that we have already. I think we are two games behind or one game behind Everton. So it's, it's you know, it's going to be peak. It's not going to be easy at all. So we need our guys back. The good news is, like I said, Jones is coming back after international break. Trent will be back after international break. Allison will be back after international break. Uh, who else am I missing? Konate. Uh, I think maybe a week or two after international break, that's when um, Jota will be available. So he will be maybe second week of April. Jota will be available when he'll be there exactly when we need him. So we got 10 games in EPL and two games in Europa. Plus, if we move forward, more games coming. So you know, this season is not over yet. And as much as it hurts on how we lost on Sunday, there's still more games to come in, and we have to support our guys. Uh, yeah, we don't want no injuries. We're hoping no injuries. And the good thing is, I think most of the games are in Europe. So all our guys are still there. Yo, big up, big up, big up, big up to our seed, man. Thank you so much for coming through. Come through the barber shop. Come sit down. We will light you up. You know, I know your hairstyle. You know, we could we'll give you a very nice train for your next Anfield, you know, visit. And guys, please go to Born and Red and go check them out. Go subscribe their channel, man. If you want good content like this one, or even better, go to Born and Red. You want news, breaking news before it happens. Go to Born and Red. I'm telling you. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it that just go over there and go check them out. They do a lot, a lot of good content there. Sometimes they invite me to come there, and I know I go over there and you know we, we do good things together, man. I see him, Sarib, Blue Chip, everybody out there, man. They they be they be they do good things over there. So please, guys, go to Born and Red and subscribe to their channel. You get great, great, great content. Sometimes they even have uh, the boy Fabrizio over there. So for you guys who like the transfer rumors, go see him. Go see them. Thank you so much. I see him. I've heard that Argentina. I'm... Oh really? I didn't know that. I'm gonna have to check him out and see which where I, I don't know where's all the East Coast. Let me know. I didn't know that. But yeah, most. I mean, each. I th I how many? Games are each country playing. If anybody knows, put it in the chat, please. I know there's a there's the weekend games, which is starts Thursday and Friday and Saturday, and then next week, I think the last day is Tuesday or Wednesday. Some I think most of them are playing one, which will be great. There will be no you know egg too much games for these guys, and I don't think there's any qualifiers, if I'm not mistaken. Um you think it's two or th three. No, the two that I think it'd be two, three would be too much. Come on, they are most of these the, uh, players are at the end of their season, so I don't think they'll do three. But at the beginning of the season, they did three. I remember that they did three and then it became two, two, two. So I think it'll probably be two. Yeah, two, exactly. There you go. There you go, two. Um, before we get out of here, guys, I have a question. And it has to do with this thing of sometimes LFC fans being overreactionary. 
the game was over and the first person we blame is Gakpo. And the man barely played any minutes. We can't do that if we want to win a quad. We got to support everybody, criticize them, hold them accountable, but it can't go overboard. You see what I'm saying? So that's something that I will probably tell people to chill on that. You have the right to say, yeah, he didn't play well. You haven't played him play well, all that stuff. But when it goes overboard and he's just an easy target, nah. Nah, we can't, we can't be doing that. Liverpool, we claim that you never walk alone, but it seems like sometimes certain players end up walking alone. And for other people who are worried that you're going to get, uh, what are you saying, Chrissy? <laughs> I, I need to see you in Los Blancos shirt against you. Honestly, I think you guys going to win. I think you guys going to win because... And this is the reason why. When it comes to defense, both you guys are not, are not at the top. You have too many injuries with your defense. You know, I know like two of them are coming back. I think after the international break, they will be back, right? But when it comes to offensive threat, your team offense threat is bar none. It is scary. That's why I think you can... Yeah, that's why I think. And City struggles when they have to play a team who play exactly like that. And you guys saw against Liverpool. We didn't finish our dinner, reason why we didn't win. But I'm not going to wear Los Blancos. But I know Los Blancos are going to win. That's what I think. And I hope you guys get Arsenal. And you guys go humble them for me. Please. Pick up yourself, Alexander. Arsenal win the Champions League and Prem. <laughs> the football world is ending. <laughs> I thought they already won it. The way they celebrated, I think they already won. Man, you beat us in FK, FA Cup. That has nothing to do with Prem. And they thought that we are finished. Hey. We had Tremenia set him back for a while, but Milito and Kutua. Hey, I just heard that Kutua heard his um, MCL. Is that true? Please let us know. This, he's gone for another two months. Yeah, that's the thing with those knee injuries, those long-term injuries. It's very easy for you to hurt the same re-injury, the same knee, or the opposite one. But we heard that uh, Kutua had a MCL injury and he's gone for uh, two months or so. Please let us know. But yeah, Suamini playing center back. It was This is how we deal with our issue when we had that center back crisis where we had to play a bunch of midfielders and center back. Yeah, but the Champions League is, is cooking. We're going to see, but I've been not been impressed with the Champions League, maybe because of the uh, away goal being taken out, Arsenal Wenger rule. And talking about Arsenal Wenger rule, have you guys heard that they passed the new offside rule? They couldn't figure out the original one. Now they came up with a new one. And the new one is... I mean, it's not really new. It's an old, old school offside rule where the player has to be, there has to be daylight between the player and the attacker and the, the last defender before. Well, some people like it because they think it's going to bring a lot of goals. But guess what's going to happen? You're just going to let this, the defender drop back a little bit more. So now you're taking away another, you know, high press. It's not going to be as high anymore because you know you have to drop back uh he's saying i think he's doing rehab right now and may be back on the grass soon carlo said he's hoping at least adam milito or couture is back okay yeah i just read today that they said couture had an mcl injury so he's too much yeah milito i know milito has been running so what about uh is it uh Who's the other defender? The one from Bayern. I forgot. Why am I forgetting his name? Alaba. Is Alaba going to be fit for after the international break? Yeah. So with Liverpool moving forward, we got great games coming up. And it's going to be bunched up together. I think we have Brighton. And then we have uh, Atlanta. Then we go to Man U. Then we have Crystal Palace. Then I think we have Sheffield 
Yeah, it's gonna be the full on. It's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy. So we as fans right now, we need to be all hands on deck, supporting the team. We have to be with them. We. This is not a time where we start criticizing people. You know, trying to take sides. Oh, my player is playing well, so screw the other guys. Now nah, we have. Uh, we have to be all in with those guys. Oh, Alaba, no news yet. Yeah, if you guys could get Alaba back then I think you guys, the Champions League is going to be yours. But what I would say is, I think the Champions League winner is between City and Madrid. So between you two, whoever comes out out of that match, that's who's going to be favorite. On the other side, Atletico might be the favorite. I don't see PSG and Barca going through Atletico. It's not going to happen. Dortmund Nah, they don't have it. They don't have enough. Atletico, I think Atletico has too much experience to not come out out of that side of the the bracket. On this side of the bracket is that's the bracket of death. It's crazy. You got City, Madrid, Bayern, and Arsenal, and they all of them are good. So whoever comes out of that group is basically, if you don't win the Champions League, then I don't know what to tell you because that side, the side of the bracket is bracket of death. It's crazy. It's crazy. Guys, don't forget again, share, subscribe, like, notification bell, guys. Algorithm, algorithm, please get us there. I remember I told you, me and my 21 kids want to go to Anfield. Uh, we're trying to work hard so I can start receiving some of these super chats so that I can take care of these kids. You know, I got to take care of the barbershop too, you know. So please help us out. Share, subscribe, and like. Um, any questions for me before we get out of here, people? It's been such a great conversation. This is what's called therapy. Now, my grieving process is done. I'm going to sit back, be petty. And I'll give you guys one. Guess who hasn't paid their taxes? Manchester United. They're going to be talking trash about us winning the FA Cup game. Congratulations. But guess what? Pay your taxes. Why haven't you paid your taxes? And the nerve of them trying to tell the taxpayers to build them another stadium. Who do you think these people think they are? Unbelievable. Huh? No, did I do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? I don't think I did that. I mean, I said it's City, Madrid, Bayern, and that's not. <clears throat> that's what I said, right? Yes, sir. Hit the likes, guys. Hit the likes. So thank you. 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 That's why I think you're going to beat City. And then talking about City, we're hearing that there's an uh, injury crisis. Arsenal fans probably smiling right now. We know KDV didn't go to international assignment because he's injured. And then now they're saying that Holland also may be injured. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Uh, United winning, we beat Liverpool trophy like. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, tell them to pay their taxes. All right. Pay your taxes and don't tell the taxpayer to build you a stadium. These people are the nerve of them. Don't talk to us. Shoot. Congratulations, you beat Liverpool. Pay your taxes. Uh, yeah, any questions, anything people want to discuss? What do you want to talk about? You know, the barbershop is still open. Come on in, come on in. So... Don't forget, share, subscribe, like. Uh, and then CD fans also were talking a lot out of mess. You worry about beating Madrid and Arsenal in the next couple games. Don't worry about us. We're going to be okay. That's what I'm saying. Who is saying? I thought only in the U.S. where tax with people. <laughs> well, it seems like Mr. Ratcliffe. Has been staying in the United States too long, or he just been hanging out with the with the Glazers too long, even though he just met him per se. 
And all of a sudden, he wants taxpayers to build him a stadium. Can you believe that? This guy came in there with his chest talking about how he wants to do this, 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 this. And his first order of business is ask the taxpayers to build him a stadium. And he doesn't, they don't even pay taxes. How dare you pay your taxes and then you have the nerve to go ask. You haven't paid your taxes and then all of a sudden you want to tell people who pay taxes to build you a stadium. Unbelievable. The nerve. Pay your taxes. Man City is saying Walker will park at Vini. Bro? <laughs> you saw what uh, Lucho did to him, right? Okay. And Vini is faster than Lucho. Let's leave it at that. This is not the walk of the old people. The man can't run anymore. Back to Man U again, with the nerve of them not paying their taxes and telling them, trying to make fun of us. Oh, we killed the Aqua, we killed the Aqua. Okay, congratulations, you killed the Liverpool Quad trophy. Go pay your taxes. Liverpool fans, again, like I said, take your time, you got 12 more days, go through the grieving process, and then come back ready to support this team because they will need us. I mean, the game against uh, City Anfield was just amazing. It's amazing. Uh, yes, he is Ghanaian. Definitely Ghanaian, he said. Uh, Ghana Football Association was looking at trying to, you know, get him. So England got him. This kid was not even on the list. All of a sudden, they call him up. Southgate already made the list. All of a sudden, he called him out. Yeah, they stole him. And I don't blame him. Ghana FA has been poor in the last 20 years. So, because that's the last 10 to 15 years since we did well in the Africa World Cup in 2010. So, ever since then, it's been a consistent decline. So, I don't blame him, him going there. But, you know, congratulations to Menu. Uh, tax we are showing up to Old Trafford like Prime DFC. <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is? If taxpayers pay the stadium for Old Trafford, that's basically Liverpool fans building a stadium for my new fans. Can you believe that? Liverpool fans, are you going to build a stadium for Manchester United? This guy is crazy. Gonna have the I use one. Oh, don't say that. Don't do that. I'm just getting away from my grieving process. Are you trying to? Why are you trying to get at it? Pull you back in. Shout out to Al Pacino. No, they done. At this point, they done. If they, I see them in the, I'm, I don't even know who was called. I know Pate was not called. He also needs to be done. This guy is the oldest young player I've ever met. Um. The new coach, O2, basically is the older coach. They brought him back. He used to coach with uh, Dortmund. If he called the IUs back to these friendly matches, he's going to get fired way before the next international uh, competition. He, These guys have done well. Let them rest. Leave them alone. They need, they, oh my God, they can't go anymore. Uh, pick up yourself, people in the chat. Thank you so much for coming through today. I appreciate every single one of you guys. It was just me, but you got you definitely made me not walk alone today. This is what it's all about, including the Madrid fan. We had a guest Madrid fan today. Thank you for showing up and showing us love. We appreciate you guys. Please share, subscribe, like, get this likes up, get the subs up. I don't know. I think YouTube don't like me because every time. I move up on the substitute subscription. They keep taking them out. Could somebody explain that to me, please? Like they keep taking my subscription down. It goes up and then it comes back down. What's going on? Anybody know what's going on? If you need, you know somebody at YouTube, tell them to stop doing that. I should be in the 500s by now, people. But YouTube keep player hating. But thank you guys. I cannot have done this show without you guys. I really, really appreciate it. You guys don't understand how much. Um, especially today, your boy has been going through a bit, but you guys have helped me today. Um, <laughs> what do you mean buying some? So you say that, oh my God, this allegation, 
I categorically refuse this allegation. I'm going to send my lawyers on you, trailer. I'm going to send my lawyers on you. This accusation. But again, guys, thank you so much for being here with me. I hope that you guys have had as much fun as I have today. This is part of the process of going through the grieving. We are back. Um, I'm going to try to be back on Friday to go through this again. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe Friday we'll probably do a late night vibe. You know, come through, guys. You know, every time we are on. That's why I said make sure you have the notification bell on so that you know when I'm on. And thank you guys for joining me today. You guys have help me go, you know, going through all this nonsense. And it's not just football. You know, usually football is uh, something that pulls you away from, but when your team loses like the way on Sunday, it makes everything worse. But thank you, every single one of you guys, Liverpool fans or non-Liverpool fans, the Madrid fan today, uh, please beat City and Mahasno if you have to. Um, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Crazy ball. Boost.